We started our company, Girls Who Do Interiors, before we even graduated design school. And we turned to Chase for Business to build along with us. They had everything from banking to payment acceptance to credit cards all in one place. And with the Chase mobile app, our business is wherever we are. It's made for business owners who build to inspire. Learn more at chaseforbusiness.com. Make more of what's yours. Real customers compensated. Chase mobile app is available for select mobile devices. Message and data rates may apply. J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member of FDIC. Shop the largest selection of wine, liquor, beer, mixers, and more delivered in as little as one hour. Mini Bar Delivery brings the wine and liquor store to the palm of your hand. As featured in Rolling Stone, People, and the New York Times Magazine, the app is loaded with party essentials, custom gift cards, tips, and the perfect finishing touch to any life moment. Get $10 off your first Mini Bar Delivery order with code MOMENTS. Get Mini Bar Delivery on the go, available on iOS or Android. Before we get started, just a quick warning that this episode mentions sexual assault. Hello! From Wonder Media Network, I'm Jenny Kaplan, and this is Womanica. This month, we're talking about goddesses, mythical figures who've shaped culture, history, and imagination around the world. Today, we're talking about one of the major deities in Greek mythology. She's known as a goddess of childbirth and a protector of young girls. That is, when she isn't embarking on bloodthirsty rampages with her trusty bow and arrow. Let's talk about the goddess of the hunt, wild nature, and childbirth, Artemis. Artemis' father was Zeus, the supreme god, and her mother was the goddess Leto. When Hera, Zeus's wife, discovered that Leto was pregnant, she flew into a jealous rage. Some stories say Hera sent her son, Ares, after Leto. Others say Hera got Python, the giant serpent, to chase Leto. Leto spent her pregnancy trying to avoid Hera's wrath. Eventually, she found refuge on the island of Delos. There, after an excruciating nine days in labor without any help, Leto gave birth to her daughter, Artemis. But Leto wasn't done yet. She was pregnant with twins. Naturally, the newborn Artemis assisted her mother as a midwife and helped deliver her twin brother, Apollo. Artemis didn't waste time growing into the goddess she knew she could be. In one telling of her childhood, Artemis sat on her father Zeus's lap and told him exactly what she wanted. She wanted him to give her a bow and arrow, and a tunic that reached her knees, so she could be a huntress and slay wild beasts. She wanted to remain a virgin her entire life, and she wanted to be a bringer of light. Zeus, ever the doting father, granted all of her wishes. The god of fire and craftsmen Hephaestus and his cyclops warriors gave her a silver bow. The god Pan gave her 13 dogs that were vicious and faster than the wind. She found six deer with golden antlers to pull her chariot. And after time and practice, she became an incredible archer. First, Artemis shot her bow at easy targets, elm and oak trees. But before long, she had progressed to shooting wild animals and people. Wearing her hunter's tunic and wielding her bow and arrow, Artemis would travel the forests and mountains looking for game to shoot. As she passed, animals would tremble. She traveled with an entourage of bears, deer, and nymphs. Artemis presided over nature and acted as the bridge between the natural world and humans. She shepherded young girls through different stages of their lives and acted as a midwife and symbol of fertility. She guarded her chastity carefully, and she expected those around her to do the same. The nymphs who traveled with Artemis had to vow to remain virgins forever, too. One nymph, Callisto, broke that vow after Zeus seduced her. Some stories say that when Artemis discovered that Callisto was pregnant, she got so enraged that she turned Callisto into a bear. Callisto's not the only one who was turned into an animal after experiencing Artemis's ire. One day, when Prince Actaeon was trekking through the woods, he accidentally saw Artemis while she was bathing in a stream. Artemis was so upset that a human man had seen her naked that she turned Actaeon into a deer. His hunting dogs then ate him alive. Sometimes, Artemis's rage ended up hurting those she cared for, like in the case of her beloved companion, the handsome giant Orion. As one story goes, her twin brother Apollo got jealous of their relationship. So he tricked Artemis into shooting Orion with a bow and arrow. When Artemis realized what she'd done, she was so sad that she immortalized Orion forever by making him into a constellation. Other versions of that story involve Orion trying to rape either Artemis or one of her nymphs, 
thereby leading her to kill him. Despite, or maybe because of, Artemis's penchant for rage, many people worshipped Artemis in ancient Greece. She had one of the longest standing cults in the ancient Mediterranean, and people held festivals in her honor. In a festival celebrated in the town of Brauron, girls between the ages of 5 and 10 would dress up as bears and dance. Women would invoke Artemis at their coming of age, before they gave birth, and at other important stages of life. Today, you can see the Artemis archetype revamped in modern stories, like Katniss Everdeen, a fierce fighter who, of course, is never without her trusty bow and arrow. In years to come, NASA's latest mission to the moon will bear Artemis' name. While Apollo was the name of the first mission to the moon, the Artemis space program will bring the first woman there. All month, we're talking about goddesses. For more information, find us on Facebook and Instagram at Womanica Podcast. Special thanks to Liz Kaplan, my favorite sister and co-creator. Talk to you tomorrow. No one likes to talk about money. Am I saving enough? Can I buy a house? Am I paying too much in taxes? Will I be able to retire? What if you could unlock insights about your finances in less than five minutes with a clear picture of where you stand today and where your money can work harder? Now you can. Visit facet.com to take the free quiz and get your financial wellness score today. That's F-A-C-E-T dot com. This ad is sponsored by Facet. Facet Wealth Incorporated is an SEC-registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment, legal, or tax advice. Now is the time to experience America's pastime in a whole new way. Major League Baseball has teamed up with T-Mobile for Business to advance the game with next-gen 5G solutions. Going deeper with real-time data visualization, new camera angles that put fans on the field with their favorite players, and even testing an automated ball strike system in the minor leagues. This is the 5G era of baseball. See what we can do for your business at T-Mobile.com slash now. Major League Baseball trademarks used with permission. Officially licensed product of MLB Players Incorporated. Ready to be inspired? I am Colleen Witt, the host of Eating While Broke podcast. While broke. Step into a world where I sit down to budget meals created by self-made entrepreneurs, influencers, and celebrities. Together, we revisit the very dishes that fueled their journey from humble beginnings. Every Thursday, listen to Eating While Broke on the Black Effect Podcast Network, iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your podcast. The Black Effect Podcast Network is brought to you by Uber. Earn like a boss at uber.com slash boss.